Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we discuss the SKF multi-lube automatic greasers used in quantum systems. This video provides an overview of the purpose, main components, and principles of operation of these greasers. Separate videos are available to describe autogreaser operation, filling, and programming procedures. If you are new to this autogreaser, watch this video first because it will give you the background information and a foundation to help the other videos make sense. The automatic greaser, or autogreaser for short, is used in quantum systems to lubricate the lower bearing on the stabilizer hull unit shaft. If you look at Quantum's maintenance schedule, you'll notice that the most frequent service item is greasing the hull unit lower bearing. For some installations, the stabilizer hull units are difficult to access, or the crews are too busy to perform this frequent maintenance task. So, an auto greaser can be installed to grease the bearings on a regular basis so that the crew on board can skip this task for some time. The SKF brand multi-lube auto greaser systems that Quantum uses are composed of two main components, a control unit and a doser unit. The control unit consists of a tank and pump assembly and is responsible for storing and pumping the grease. Its integrated control display is where operators can view greasing activities and alarms. Ah! Yay! Therefore, the control unit must be located in an area accessible to the ship's crew. One of these control units can serve one or all stabilizer hull units on a ship. The doser unit is responsible for metering the volume of grease distributed to the stabilizer hull unit. In order to ensure that each hull unit gets the volume of grease that it rightly deserves, there must be one doser unit for each stabilizer hull unit serviced by the auto-greasing system. In big picture, the auto-greasing system works as follows. The control unit pumps grease up to a pressure in order to move it through the piping and actuate the doser unit. At the doser unit, a specific volume of grease is pushed on to the hull unit. This greasing principle is different from our manual greasing procedure. When manually greasing the lower bearings, we pump the grease up to pressure to help ensure the grease moves down the bearing housing cavity to reach the lower bearings. We do this because we don't know how much grease has been washed out since the bearings were last greased. It might be 10 cc or 1000 cc of grease needed to refill the bearing cavity. With the auto greaser, on the other hand, a consistent volume of grease is added to the whole unit bearing cavity about every 15 minutes of operation. With this arrangement, the volume, rather than the pressure, of the grease being added to the whole unit is monitored. Other videos in this series will describe the auto greaser control unit and doser operation specifics. But just to give you a little taste, the control unit has two outlet lines which it pressurizes one at a time to shift a pair of pistons inside the doser. The control unit increases the pressure on the outlet line until the pressure is high enough to move the pistons in the doser. While the pistons move, grease is pushed into the hull unit. Once the doser pistons reach the end of travel, the pressure spikes and the control unit stops pumping. This process then repeats on the other outlet line of control unit, pushing the doser pistons in the opposite direction. This cycle repeats over and over again on a preset schedule, accurately dispensing grease to the whole unit with each stroke of the doser pistons. Information about the auto greasing system for a particular installation can be found in the quantum manual and my favorite in the drawings. The quantum drawing package for a ship will include general drawings of the auto greaser control unit and dosers. Also, a separate piping arrangement is provided 
showing how the greasing system is to be plumbed and to provide important operating parameters for the system. Finally, electrical wiring can be found in the vessel's cable plan drawing and connection details can be found in the HPU schematic and connection plan drawings. It's important to know that the auto greaser is powered and controlled by the PLC in the HPU motor control box. By and large, the auto greaser is enabled or turned on whenever the stabilizer system is on or for SMC systems when the SMC exits hibernate mode. Also, a power cable is provided by SKF on the control unit, but it doesn't have enough wires for the enable signal or to provide feedback to Quantum's control when an auto greaser alarm condition exists. So unfortunately, we toss that cable and a separate cable must be run as indicated in the cable plan. That's it for a big picture overview of the SKF multi-loop auto greasers in Quantum Systems.